this is Winnie Wade Next Level Board Games, and today we're going to unbox Dog Park, a game by Lottie and Jack Hazel, and published by Birdwood Games. So first I should say this is a collector's edition, so it might be a little bit different than other versions. I do have some other little things that came with it that I'll open in a minute, too. So first let's, ooh, tear through the plastic if I can get my fingernail to go through. Oh my gosh, the toughest plastic ever! There we go. Wow. Okay. See. By the way, this is a very heavy game, so there's a lot in there. And just so you can see the picture a little bit better, super cute. All right, let's find out what's inside. Okay. Oh, little uh, information about the collector's edition. I think the tokens ended up being um, slightly different shaped and silk screened, which is, I love this part right here, little toy tokens. I think that's adorable. Um, then the directions, not really big pages, adorable dogs and the edges. I love that. If you're a fan of dogs, I think, I don't know how you could not like this game in a way. <laughs> dogs. <laughs> What's not to love? Okay. Um, oh, wow. Okay, so all kinds of cutouts or little pop-outs here. So little like collars, um, little rope things. I forget what these are, exa what exactly these are, but all kinds of little punch-out tokens. These are really big. Oh, and little middle ones come out. Oh, there's numbers in the back. Hmm, okay, let's just see what those do. So there's those. I already know what color I'm gonna be. The closest thing to green, because that's my favorite color. And then let's see here. Looks like several boards. Let me make room here. Okay. So this game is all about acquiring dogs and walking them and keeping them happy. So some of your dogs are gonna require treats. Some are gonna require going walking. Some are gonna wanna, um, uh, like I think the stick is maybe walking, can't remember. Some of them are going to want to play with toys or play fetch. Anyway, the idea is each dog is going to want different things and as you click more and more, obviously it's going to get harder and harder to meet all of their needs, just like it would in real life. Hopefully most of that you can see. And then, oh, these are the player boards. Okay, I thought these were stuck together, but they're not. So these are the player boards. These are sort of your, um, you can tell if you can see they have um, a set where you're going to have, you could have up to eight cards it looks like. So super cute, because there's like a little dog bed, little bowls, and a toy, a little Kong toy, um, in different colors. So it looks like this is sort of like a yellowy background, and then that's got like a little bit of a blue, maybe green? That looks green, that looks kind of blue, but then the reddish color, and then purple. Interesting. I see, oh yeah, there's purple, blue, green, uh, pink. Okay, so anyway, those would be the different player boards. These two are similar, but anyway. So those are gonna hold up to eight cards, it looks like. And then um, a cute little tracking scoring at the end. I really like these, I know it sounds silly, but um, I find it easier to track all the different things you're supposed to pay attention to and keep score up. So that's kind of why I like the, uh, the score cards. And then in case you didn't see before, really cool organized insert. This makes me super happy um, and I've mentioned it before. Then let's see, we've got some tokens. And I have like two sets of these, I think. So here's one set of four dogs. So these are obviously the colors. So it's kind of a green blue, it's like a teal color. Then I have these ones that came in the extra pack. They're different dogs. Okay, same color, so also gonna be for each player. And so this was, like some extra stuff that came. So here's the other little pack that I was thinking of, and I, so I'm guessing these track two different things. So here's the same color tokens, but oops, different dogs. So two sets of tokens. So like if you were purple, these would be your, your little tokens that you used. Okay, then um, it also came with um, this really cute bookmark, which I love because I just realized I was really bummed out that I have to be honest, I was super bummed out that there wasn't a boxer on the box because that's my favorite kind of dog. And I just noticed that in the bookmark, there's one right there. So that makes me extremely happy. So cute. So also other kinds of dogs. I, mean, I love all dogs, but boxers are my personal favorite. And then also some postcards. 
which is really cute. And last but not least, some stickers. So this was just sort of like a little extra pack of stuff. I'm not exactly sure. I don't know if that was just a Kickstarter thing or I'm not exactly sure. Then let's see here. So then <laughs> these are adorable. So these are little like ways to organize all the tokens that came. So I'm gonna guess you're gonna put things like um, the toys and the, the balls and things like that in here. Oh my gosh, this is so stinking cute. I love this already. Haven't even played, I love it. Okay, let me get rid of this stuff. I don't know if this, this reminds me of what would probably be like a first player token. I could totally be wrong, but that's what it reminds me of. Let's see. And then um, this unique dice. I don't know what the bird would be. Maybe the bird is a first player token, who knows? Okay, but this dice with the little dog prints. Oh my gosh, how stinking cute is that? Plus it's, you know, green, love it. So that's super cool. I don't know what the bird token's for. Now I'm gonna look really fast. What's the bird token? Oh, the round tracker. Okay, so the bird token's the round tracker. And this is the first walker token, which I'm assuming maybe means you're the active player, or the first player. So, uh, what else here? Oh my gosh, we got two more, four more. Okay, some more tokens. Huh, I don't know what those are. Oh, I know exactly where those are going. They're going on those things over there. Okay, so here is the actual, um, your, your actual walking, your dog walking tokens, because that's what the whole game is about. So here are your, and they're different. Okay. Slightly different. Okay, so here's your dog walker tokens, and again, in the same colors, the sort of green blue, the pinkish salmon color, the yellow and the purple. So um, now if we keep adding to this, <laughs> I think this is the last one. Now if you're purple, <laughs> these are all your pieces. So that would be for you. Okay, then let's see what else we got. So these little tokens here, I, I know what these are for. These are gonna be to put these things together. And I don't know how they work exactly. It's like there's an extra hole here. I don't know what that's for, but I feel like, oh, I know, as because you're gonna track something with it. Okay, so these little things are gonna go in here. Oops, let's see here. Probably. Would it be between, how does that work? I guess it would just, oops, if I could get that lined up. There we go. There we go. Okay, so now this turns and you, it's a tracker. So like you're walking a dog and then there's numbers one through five. No clue what those are tracking, but that's how that works. So cute, it's got like a little dog leash on it. So that's how those are gonna work and what these are for. Then all these little tokens, which are adorable. They, and these got upgraded. Let me grab another stick, a couple sticks. So there's little sticks, there's dog bones, there's tennis balls, and there's toys. These are so cute. Super cute, cute colors. They're all, you know, really easy to identify them apart. and. So that's what those are, a whole bunch of those. So I'm, I'm guessing you probably separate those out in here. I won't do that now, that's gonna be tedious. But there's all kinds of, um, oops, I'm gonna need that later. If you notice in here, there's, little, there's a place for everything. So that goes there, this goes here. So really, really, really well-designed insert. I love that. And I'm gonna guess these are gonna go here, just like this. So, really cool. Um, I wonder if the dog walkers go here, maybe. I'm not sure yet. Anyway, sorry, I digress. Okay, cards. Holy cow, bunny. lots of cards. And last but not least, oh gosh, never mind. there's a bunch more. Okay, so these are more player boards. Okay, so, we have two sets of player boards. Let's check that out. Okay, these are our lead boards. And, ta-da! Okay, 
Kennel boards. These are kennel boards. Okay. Kennel board is where players will keep the dogs they collect throughout the game. Okay, so mainly it seems like you'll be playing with these boards, which are similar, like with the colors, but when you, I guess, keep a dog. I'm not exactly sure. Anyway, they might move to one of these boards. Okay. So each player is going to get one of each of those. Tons of cards. Okay, so I think these are all... No. Different types of cards. So I believe every one of these is a different... Is a different type of dog. So let me just... The backgrounds change. So these, if, as you can see in the upper corner, they all say toy. So these are all going to be what's considered toy dogs. Every one of these. And these are all the different kinds. So each card is different. There really is a ton of artwork in here, as you can see. So that's really cool. And there actually is, if you can see at the very bottom, there's a little bit of information about um, each of the breeds specifically. So there's a bunch of little information. And if I'm not mistaken, these are the things that this dog needs to be considered like happy and satisfied. So there's these, there's tons of different kinds. There's, um, these are considered gun dogs and that's, it's a lot to go through. So trying to scan through, I'll just show you like a couple and I'm sure you'll recognize some of them. But again, each one is a different dog. So really cool. There's also hounds. As you can see here, there's a lot of those. Pastoral, I've never even heard that. Um, and then that's all of those ones. And I'm clearly not a dog aficionado. I just know I love them. Then Let's see here. Here's the last. So still, this is how many, this is all of the actual dog breed dog cards. Tons. Okay. Then there's terriers, bunch of those. Utility dogs, what's considered a utility dog. That's a very interesting category. A working dog. And that's, oh, and then there's another, oh, a couple more that are, were in the wrong pile. Anyway, so that's all the different ones. So lots of little doggies, love that. Um, and there's more expansions too. So then we have, so then there's some um, cheat sheets for playing for each player, which we love this, right? Makes it a little bit easier to play and it's good reminders so you don't have to tell people over and over. For those people that can't seem to remember a rule for five seconds. I think I did read this game as sort of like a lightweight game. So I'm kind of excited because I feel like it, I can bring it into pretty much any group in, uh, of players and they're not gonna be stressed out. Then there's um, some solo stuff here, some solo cards, location cards. I'm not exactly sure how these work, to be honest with you, but I'm gonna guess it has something to do with the placement on the board, because if I look here, there's like this here, and then this symbol is here, but again, uh, it's pointing to these symbols here, it's so like toy and something else, I'm not exactly sure what, but. So there's these, and then, yeah, these are all considered location parks, even though they look different, okay. So those are probably adds a little bit of complexity. Then we have objective cards. So I'm gonna guess that these are gonna be like Wingspan and several other games that have where each player playing the same game, but then you also have one thing that's slightly different and that you're working towards a different objective. So that's gonna be those cards. Okay, so there's more cards. So I don't know what this is. This is a small little, I'm probably gonna need this to tell me what these are. Oh, it's not in here. Famous dogs expansion. So it's telling about the different types of dogs, like the percentages, which reminds me of Wingspan. And then there's different, like maybe little objectives. It says forecast. I don't know exactly how these work. So, but like this is saying like during this round, la la la. So it's gonna make uh, changes to the different rounds. So there's those small little cards. And then there's actually um, more sets of dogs. So these add famous dogs. So probably things you would see in those, you know, the famous dog shows. And then also European dogs, which I have no idea what's considered a European dog, but I'm gonna find out by playing this game. So that's kind of exciting. I'm still gonna have my favorite, Los Opso and Boxers. Those are gonna be my favorites forever, but doesn't mean I won't love other dogs. So here's a little expansion card. And then again, now the backs look exactly the same. So these will be able to get mixed in um, probably after you've played a time or two more what's considered pastorals, but apparently, so these are these are the famous ones, right? Yeah, so these are famous. So anyway, different little 
dogs that you've probably seen or heard of or that are going to be yeah japanese akita that looks really familiar okay these make sense okay so those are the famous ones and then i think last but not least we're at the bottom european dogs again this is the collector's edition so i think some of these um, expansion cards you're seeing here at the end are might be unique to that being the collector's edition because if I look at the insert, the kennel boards, and then the upgraded tokens, and then the upgraded resource tokens, and then these cards that I'm doing right now are part of that collector's edition. So this one's the European Dogs expansion. And then, so then we've got same category of dogs, but again, different dog types. So most likely dogs you've probably seen, they are just known for being European dogs. So all different kinds. Still beautiful doggies. And now, if I if I were to add these two stacks, I mean, there's so many, and I'm not going to do it because I don't want to lose them, but if you look at how many dogs there are now, so this is what came in the original game, and here's with the two expansions. So that's like several decks of cards. So a ton of dog cards, lots of learning that you can do, kind of like Wingspan, where you have different, different birds, and it's always something new and unique, and we find ourselves going like, oh, look at that bird. But that is everything. <laughs> Had to check. <laughs> So that's everything that is in Dog Park, the collector's edition. Um, these adorable little uh, trays to track all our little tokens, which are adorable. I think there's going to be more stuff that goes in here. I'm not exactly sure what. Um, probably these leash tokens over here and some other things. A ton of dog cards, plus the expansion, the board, the player boards, the lead lines, and the kennel boards. Um, oh, I forgot to show you one last thing. There's also a sleeve that goes over the box that came as well. I forgot about this. One last thing. So, let's see if I can get it to, to bend. So this actually goes over your game and has all kinds of dogs on it. And there's different ones, I believe, on every single surface, which is really cool because if you have a favorite like I do, and I think everybody does, um, you maybe will find it in some of these pictures. So that also came as well. So there is just a lot, there's a lot of pieces, a lot of parts, but I think I, there's like these really cute dice with the little doggy prints, which I love, and the wooden tokens um, for your dog walker and player pieces. And I think that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching Next Level Board Games.